Welcome back everyone. Okay, let's get the LEDs and the fiber optics installed. Gonna get these uh, resistors on the back of these uh, lights here. I got the negatives all tied in together. Now I'm just gonna put resistors on it. Uh, like the red on the end here will be um, 470 ohm, 22 for the blue, and 68 for the white. Tie the pins in together now. Let's do a quick light test. Make sure they're going to be working okay. Uh, let's see here. Good. That one works. Woohoo! That one works. They're both working great. So one's going to go here, and the other one is going to go over here. I can do for the scanner here is I can just tie it into one of these here has one of these resistors on it um, I might do for the white one here the 68 ohm and then it'll just tie right in okay just gotta let those set now I just gotta make separate and I um, um I cut away the, not cut away the, scraped away the paint for this uh, area here and this one here because there are lights in behind here as well. So according to this top one is kind of a pinkish red and this bottom one here is green. Okay, and uh, in here is a mixture of red, blue, I'll have to find another picture, but there's, there's three different colors that sort of differentiate between the area, so um, I want to try and get them. Why they encompass pretty much the whole area. So as they're changing color, oh. on the show and in the uh, the pictures here, like there are specific areas where the colors are. Ah, I'll, I'll look into it. So I got a fiber optic line goes through there and all there. The larger buttons are the. Uh, Point twenty and the small six so the uh, ten okay and then I got an SMD to go right here that lights up that circular scanner I just 
just got to figure out. So I got a red one, put it here, blue, and green, which will take care of this. And this here is white, 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 kind of a red and green. Okay. be able to maybe I'll have separate LEDs over here and have all the fiber up no it has to be on this side it's gonna be a tight squeeze with all those LEDs over there unless I put the LEDs down here no the caps because there's LEDs coming up or fiber optics coming up through there too. Oh, probably put three LEDs over here, right against the area wall here. And I have to close off this whole area so no light comes down underneath the dash. Oh, it'll work, it'll work. And I got my. Point zero ten fiber optics here. Really hard to see with the camera. Just using regular glue to hold those in place. If you try to use stronger stuff like crazy glue, it'll eat right through that fiber optic line like it was nothing. Always make it longer than you need. <sighs> what a mess. What I'm going to have to do with these is uh, find some old spools of mine and put them on spools. This is, this is unacceptable. You know, this is, it's a mess. You get, end up getting twisted. And, See, I got them sticking out there just a little bit. And then I just clip those down to about this, to the, like the tops of the other ones. So they stick out just a little bit anyway. All right, I'll let that set. And then I'll do this side. There we go. Okay, got them all in place. 
Just got to let them set now. Okay, so I got the heat shrink on there ready to go as to be a guide for the fiber optics. Let's get those in place. And there we go, looking good. All right, we're all in there, looks good. Okay, quick light test. Go bed, looks good. Trim those down. right now anyway I got uh, LED there lighting up this section LEDs for those two spots LED here for lighting up that uh, I got an SMD to light up that circular scanner and I got these LEDs to light up that whole section in the front here and then uh, these three here for the buttons and uh, yeah I just got to let the glue set before I can put the uh, fiber optics in place and uh, then I can put a cover over the bottom there. Don't need to worry about there. Just uh, keep everything all in place. Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> it's a real mess, but I managed to get everything to fit in there. So it's not too bad. Okay, let's do a quick light test. Yeah. Looks good. Very nice. Holy cow. Okay, so I got the bottoms on there now. That's good. Just gotta put that in place. Glue it in. Oh, we're rocking. Okay, so I had to put caps on the sides here to keep light from popping out along the side of the wall. So it looks pretty good. <clears throat> Just 
going to darken that up so no light goes through the plastic. And then I put uh, putty along the bottoms here. Keep light from going to, uh, out through that. Looks good though. Okay, so I just got this. I think these are the throttle assembly. And then this uh, clear scanner. Go over in this area here. does with that scanner okay. ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ah. that looks good nice just like in the show not bad not bad at all Okay, I'm gonna let that set because I got a little bit of more work to do on that. Oh, bit of a mess here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cleanup here before I move on. Uh, there we go, all covered up. No light coming through that. Um, so once this dries underneath there, I'll smooth it all out and put a darker color over that, to keep any light popping through there and then I went and put the, uh, the thing in the floor there got the little hatch there I know the hatch doesn't flip up it just sort of lays off to the side but um, I like it better this way my model I do what I want right all right looks good not bad all right let's uh, let's uh, put the uh, the chairs in place Movies. They just snap in the face. on after the sides on here. Thank you. 
All right, let's get everybody in place here. got these tanks going back here good all right i think that pretty much uh, completes the interior there just got to work on the roof the ceiling and uh, got to install lighting for that and all that and we're rocking a little wet right now but it will dry uh, to its former haziness and the window maker will dry clear it's all wrinkly right now but it'll, it'll smoothen out Okay, so I got this uh, top part of the door, but I want it open on the side, so I'm not going to install that. It'll just be the lower half that where you step onto to get inside the ship. That's what I'm going to use. All right, looks good. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. So, just got to get these lights here wired. Now I need to figure out where the wiring is going to go out and down. What I was thinking, it would go down maybe through a hole here down behind the back 
uh, leg down into a stand. Uh, I think I was going to make um, I don't know, I was thinking maybe a landing pad or something like that. Just just something for the model to sit on. Uh, and then inside that would be the power source. And I was going to have a few different switches. One would be uh, for the main lighting. The other one would be for the, uh, the impulse engines on the back. And... I think that's all I need, just a couple of switches that would turn them on separately. Um, so yeah, I was thinking I'll line to go here, down the back leg, into the stand. Alright, so I just need to figure out how long I want to make the wires here. Alright, so I got it that long there. So I'll go from the front, down, down the leg, into the stand. Uh, okay. Um, so even before I can, before I can do that though, I got to figure out where I'm going to put the lighting for the impulse engines. I, but first I need to figure out where the impulse engines are going to go here. Um, it's here, yeah, and I still got to put lighting in there for that. So, this back here goes on here, like this. Something like that. And then the impulse engine's up here. So I gotta have LEDs on here to light up. And I looked on the on uh, one of the original Star Trek shows. Uh, the impulse engine is, is a white color, not red like I thought. So it is white. So um, I'm going to use five mil whites to light up the rear impulse engines. Just go back here. I got that in place now, and the fronts up here are uh, pot lights, so I'm going to have those SMDs on here, four small SMDs on there, um, probably with like a 100 ohm resistor, so those have to be connected as well, so they'll, they'll all be connected here with, uh, actually, I think I'm going to have those on a separate uh, switch so I can turn them on separately from the rest of the ship. Yeah, so I'll have uh, three switches for the impulse engines, for the main lighting, and for the pot lights here. Yeah, yeah, I like that, yeah. There we go. Yeah, you got them all connected there. Let's do a quick light test. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Looks good. Alright. Okay. I really love these SMDs. I mean, they are awesome. I got some more in order, just a little bit bigger than those. Stuff that they use for model railroading. This stuff is awesome. All right, so uh, got these two sides on here. Got the back on. Looks really good. Um, this is not glued yet. I just got it there just so I can see where the, the uh, LEDs have to go. I had to have put an extension on here so all the lighting goes all the way across the impulse engine. You can see here, this only goes like three quarters of the way. <clears throat> So I got that and glued in place, so just letting it dry. Um, so what I'm going to do for the LEDs, I'm not going to have them pointing directly at it. I'm just going to have them pointing at each other. So like maybe a two here, two here, and two. So there's going to be six 5mm white LEDs. 
going all the way across the back here and that's more than ample enough to light up the back that's about all I really need looking really really good well that is it for this episode everyone in the next one we're gonna finish off the lighting and we're gonna do some more assembly on the model please like subscribe comment don't forget to share and click that notification bell for any future uploads if you have any questions or you want me to do commission work for you contact me at epic.models at gmail.com see you all again later bye bye